Hey, welcome to my channel. I am Dr. Sharice and I help black men and women heal from trauma and toxic relationships. Today we are going to talk about Will and Jada's open marriage, maybe polyamorous relationship. It's probably not polyamorous because they're barely in a relationship. Are they in a relationship? I don't know. But looking from the outside, I see some common mistakes that they've made in their open marriage. The first thing that I've noticed is they have not done enough personal work, what I would call soul work, like exploring the shadow version of themselves before getting into a relationship. I also say relationships are for the evolution of your soul. So you can be your unfiltered, raw, ego-filled version of yourself and create a partnership with someone that is going to help you evolve in a positive way, like really push you to grow and become a better person. It does not look like these folks have been doing that work. So I'm a psychologist. I don't diagnose anyone that I don't see in real life who has not paid me. But it does appear that Will and Jada have some codependent tendencies. Um, I think some people have referred to Jada's, you know, behavior online and their relationship. Some of the things that she shared as having some sort of narcissistic traits. So I think it's fair to say they're in a toxic relationship, right? A relationship can be toxic and you all can still love each other, like that version of love, and still want to be in the relationship, right? One of my favorite books, which is called Women Who Love Too Much, um, highly, highly recommend it, change, it changed my life, um, says you don't have to end a relationship just because it's toxic and or abusive. It's possible that this is an abusive relationship right like maybe verbally emotionally abusive and jada is manipulative i don't know but the the way you combat that the way you deal with that in a relationship is you do a lot of personal work right i would not recommend couples therapy for these folks because there's so much individual work there you know there's so many people online who are saying jada is embarrassing will um that's not my perspective right I view it as you all are experiencing secondhand embarrassment for him because you can see clearly that he is in an unhappy situation, but he's choosing to be there, right? And that's the part where I say it takes two people, two toxic people to be in a toxic relationship. Will is not good. Like, he's not okay. He's not okay. <laughs> he's not okay. Like, we saw years ago, I did a video on them in 2020 when they came out with that Red Table Talk and we could see that Will was crying. And it was clear to me, but long before then, but in that video, it was so clear to me. And I thought it would be so clear to so many people that they were lying. They were lying. And now we see, right, they weren't even in a relationship. Like they, they, they were legally married, but they were not intimate. They were not sharing lives together. And so it's like they both were participating in this lie, right? It wasn't just Jada. Um, she is the one that has the new book now, but it was never just Jada. Will is an active participant in this. And he himself has a lot of soul work to do. And maybe by then he'll leave the relationship or it will improve. Like there is still potential, especially in marriage. Like I really encourage people to, um, if you have chosen a person, right? If you have invested years and it's, it's not like they have tried to physically harm you. Um, it's, it's not like your life is in danger, that kind of stuff. Like it's relationship type stuff. Like this is clearly something that I think can be worked on but it would require a lot of work, immense work. Oh my goodness, immense work on the individual's part to acknowledge their role, their denial in the craziness, in the chaos of it all, and then to heal and then start relating to each other in a different way. The second thing that I noticed about Will and Jada is they did not appear to be in agreement on the parameters of their open relationship, their open marriage. Um, because why would Will be taking it so personal that Jada was in a relationship with someone else when Will has been in relationships with other people? Just because we haven't heard about them doesn't mean he hasn't. I think we know this because Jada groomed, I would say. She probably groomed a, a young, vulnerable man um, who, shared, who shared the business, right? If August Alcina never said anything, I doubt that we would be getting all of this information now. Just like in, I haven't read Will's book, but one of my friends has read it. And he doesn't really talk about his marriage. Um, and a marriage, especially one that's lasted decades, is a very important part of your life. And so to not give people the truth or even 
some of the truth, right? Because I, I say here on my channel, like, it's very important for me to be vulnerable. It's very important for me, like, to tell you the truth of what's going on in my life. Um, but I'm going to tell you if there are some details that I'm not interested in sharing, right? So, like, you'll know I'm dating, but you'll not know how serious it is or who it's with. And that's on purpose. But I feel like the honesty factor, the transparency factor on what we're omitting or like in what subject area is being omitted has just been missed on them. And so they're doing that to us, right? If this is how they want to portray themselves because image is such a big thing, I can only imagine that they were not having those really difficult conversations on what do you want this open marriage to look like? It was probably react reactory, reactor, reactive, <laughs> right? That, okay, we'll just not live together because we can't get along versus wanting the other person to experience intimacy and also wanting to share those experiences with them, but just in a different way. I don't think they were on the same page about what they wanted it to be. And I thought the, the red table talk where Will was there looking like he was crying was proof that you all were not on the same page when it came to what you want this to look like, which is just a very common mistake. And the last common mistake that I see Will and Jada make is thinking that a relationship will complete them, right? And part of opening the relationship is thinking that an outside relationship will fill the gap between whatever they're, they feel like they're missing. But in actuality, when you are addicted to a relationship, same way as you're addicted to um, drugs, right? Drugs are a very extreme kind of codependency in yourself. Um, but relationship addictions, we can see, can have just as damaging consequences on your life as doing something like drugs because there are recreational drug users there are people who binge on the weekend and still are able to maintain a job and it's only 10 years down the line where that impacts their life right so being a relationship addict thinking that i don't feel good about myself actually i feel really insecure um i feel empty inside but being in this marriage that will make it work and then after you do that for a while you realize oh this is not this is not making me feel good i think i need something else i think i need another relationship I think we need to see other people because I'm missing something from you, right? You give me 80%, but that 20% makes me feel like oh, I'm just missing so much and I need it, right? I need it, right? I really think like Will is a love addict. Um, Jada is probably love avoidant. I don't know for sure. I'm just telling you the drama, the chaos that you all have seen play out over the media from their relationship um, is indicative of deeper issues. And I would strongly recommend therapy for folks who have a significant difficulty self-regulating their emotions, right? When you are addicted to a person or a relationship, like they can do no wrong. Not that they can do no wrong, but it's like no matter how bad they treat you, you will still stay. Relationships, yes, take work, hard work, effort. There will be some times when there's a lull in the relationship. I don't know about 10 years like Michelle Obama is talking about, but there are going to be periods of time in your relationship when you don't really like your partner, where there are hard times and there's things that you are working on. But at the end of the day, there should be a level of respect, um, compassion, grace that's extended at some points during the difficult time. I'm not sure that that's something that we've seen from either of them, it's, it looks very much like Will is self-sacrificing and that Jada is tolerant of him. Not that she actually really likes him or enjoys him or wants to choose him, but it's more like an obligation versus this is something I, I really want to work at. All of that could be explored in therapy. I'm not sure either of them are in therapy. I don't really follow them like that. I saw a clip of... Um, with not will i saw a clip and i don't i didn't listen I, when i'm on social media i don't have the sound on because and i i mean i would encourage you to see what that's like for you because there's so much toxicity on social media but i saw her in a clip with her friend jay shetty to me it makes sense that the two of them are friends i've never shared my opinion on jay shetty i don't know the man but to me it makes sense that the two of them are friends um where she was crying 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 and i talk a lot about crying on my channel because um tears are cleansing uh, and they're a sign of trauma or like pain leaving the body. And so if you, st what are you crying about, girl? I don't know what she was crying about. I didn't listen to it. Um, but the fact that she's crying with this man, like, and for the video to be out to, uh, uh, listen, I'm not here to judge either one of them. Um, I'm here to help you understand how you can improve your life 
This is the only reason why I talk about celebrities because I think they, if you look at their life, if you look at some of the, the mistakes that they've made, you can reflect on ways that you can make different decisions in your own life. So strongly recommend going to therapy. Strongly recommend learning to self-regulate your feelings um, and that if you want to be in an open relationship or a polyamorous relationship, have those difficult conversations with your partner about what they want it to be right now and then have check-ins about what about now? Are you feeling the same way? Are you still open to this? Is this still working for you? Because people change their minds all the time and what worked in year one of your marriage is probably not going to work in year 10. You're slightly different. You're more evolved, hopefully. Like if you ain't growing, what do I say? Evolve or die. If you're not evolving, you're, you're living a slow, a slow death. Okay, like life is to be lived and to have experiences that push us to grow and to be better. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'm not interested in Jada slander, um, attacking her. I, I'm not really interested in those kind of comments. Okay, let me know what you think about polyamory, open relationships, um, the themes, right? Not your personal opinion necessarily on these celebrities who we really, really don't know. Uh, thank you for watching. Share this video with someone you think it may help.